Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark is back. The most expensive play ever produced on Broadway is back from hiatus after a three-week pause to relaunch the troubled production. As you know, there have been a number of setbacks. But now uh, the producers are hoping a revamped show will keep the crowds coming. And that's not the only show on the Great White Way right now. Joining us now is Jimmy Niederlander of the Niederlander Organization, one of Spider-Man's producers, owner as well of nine theaters on Broadway. Welcome to In Business. Thank you. Nice to be here. Uh, well, obviously, there's a lot of anticipation about this production in particular. Yes, there is. It's going to officially reopen June the 14th. 14th. The 15th. Yes. How are ticket sales? Ticket sales are good. You know, uh, they've revamped the show. Uh, they've redone a lot of the second act and some of the first act. And it's what really people, I believe, want to see now in a Spider-Man event. And it's a $70 million production? It is. Wow. Uh, how long before th those costs are, are made back up? How much money did you put into it? Uh, not that much, but uh, we have enough in it to worry about it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the more tickets people buy, the quicker it's going to be to recoup. And I think what they have on stage now, it, it'll be a little faster than it was earlier. Well, talk to me about those ticket sales, because obviously Broadway tickets, they're expensive. It's a very big discretionary item. How do you get people in this environment to pay out that kind of cash? Well, the thing is, if you got what they want, they'll be there. If you don't, if they don't want it, you can't give the tickets away. So shows like Spider-Man, Priscilla, Book of Mormon are, are shows people are really wanting to see. So those tickets are flying off the shelves. But we have been reading about um, incentives being offered by t mm -hmm. ticket agents as well, mm -hmm. e even vouchers to pay for your gas to get to the theater True. in the first place. True. Are you having to do more of that? A little bit more. You know, people do need incentives. There's so many things out there for people to go see, whether it's a baseball game or a hockey game or something in the park. People, uh, people need incentives to get to the theater. And tickets are what, like 60 $70 on average? At a minimum? 70. 70, yeah. right about there. Yes. So it, it's not an inconsequential piece of cash. But we were looking at the economic impact of Broadway. Obviously, here in Manhattan, it's a huge draw, it's a, it's a part of, of the uh, economy. It has a $3.4 billion impact on the yeah. larger metro area. It's the number one tourist attraction in New York. Is it? Yeah. Where do most of those tourists come from? Are they domestic? Are they international tourists? Good question, both. Uh, most of them come from the United States, but there's a great deal in the summertime and in the, uh, the spring that come from all over the world. And, and where are you seeing most of them from right now? Most of them are from the United States. A lot of them are coming from France because the dollar is low. They're still European, yes. uh, primarily. Uh huh. Germany. Those international. Uh, so when we have something like the Tonys scheduled yes. for June the 12th, yes. those nominations just came out. They did. Does that drive tickets? People are reminded sort of of the big names and, and go out and make a purchase? Absolutely. People are reminded of the big names, are reminded of the shows. People want to say, well, that's nominated, so it must be pretty good. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there are shows out there that didn't get nominated, but they're more of the People's Choice Awards. Yeah. Well, the Book of Mormon got the most it nominations. Did. It certainly did. It's a good show. Is that, what, what is the sort of top show that you're looking at the most return on right now, financially? Uh, I would say that's not ours. Doesn't matter, really. It's, it's about the show. The Book of Mormon's doing very well. Priscilla, Queen of the Desert's doing very well. That one you do have a piece of. Well, yes, we do. Priscilla. Uh, there's a few more out there that uh, I can mention, but I think those two are right now the top ones. It, is there a halo effect, though, when you have something that's as big of a hit as, say, the Book of Mormon? Does that drive other... No pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended, honestly, on <laughs> okay, that one. Go ahead. <laughs> does it drive purchases of other show tickets? It does. That's what's good about the theater. I root for all shows because someone comes to Broadway and they can't get a ticket. They want to see something else. And I think that... Uh, the magnitude that Broadway presents to people is they want to see live shows. Mm -hmm. I'm moving here, sorry. <laughs> this is our own floor show here. We have stools that you have to not only balance on, but they also okay. <laughs> move around. Meantime, um, thank you so much for coming on. My pleasure. And, and telling a story. Good luck. Thank you. With all of the shows. And, uh, and go to Broadway, people. Go to Broadway. Uh, yeah, well, we had some good response. We put up on, um, on our website, on the, our Facebook page, the reopening of Spider-Man in particular. Yeah. We got more people want to see it than not. So That's great. No, it's doing well. Hits breed hits. You know, and also, Spider-Man brings people to, to Broadway that don't normally come to Broadway. Right. You know, Bono and The Edge are, 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 are foreigners to the theater, but that's a great thing. We need more newcomers to the theater. Remember, Rodgers and Hammerstein started somewhere, too, you know. There you go. Star power helps. Thank yep. you very much. Thank you.